Now, in case a car is traveling at a constant velocity, the engine, friction, and air resistance may all performing may all be performing work on the car. In this case, we say that the total work on this car is zero because it has constant velocity. You are not accelerating, we are not decelerating. We're moving at the same speed, same velocity, same direction. In such cases, all the work being done by all the forces, whether it is the thrust or the friction or the drag, are all leading up to zero. So the total work will be zero in this case when you have constant velocity. Here are some examples of work. Let's try to classify them, positive, negative, or no work. Example one, lifting a box to a high shelf. This is positive work. So my hands supporting the box, this force is upwards and the box itself is moving upwards. Same direction, positive work. Holding a book over your head, no work is being done. Even if you hold it for an hour and you feel tired. In physics, we do not classify this as work. Lowering a box to the ground, negative work, previously discussed. Friction acting on a car, moving, negative work. Whenever you have friction, remember this. Friction forces cause negative work. A truck traveling at a constant velocity, no work. The total work is zero. Pushing a box across a table, this is positive work. Forces and distance are in the same direction, also positive work. And one bonus example from me, forces and the distance are in the opposite direction, you say it is negative work. I just stated the opposite of the last statement, number seven. So pay attention to this, pay attention to the direction the force and the object are going in. Ask yourself, is this object I'm moving, traveling in the same direction as the force I'm exerting? If yes, then your work is positive. If no, then the work is negative. Thank you for listening, and we will continue in the next lesson titled, What is Energy? Let's go.